Hi guys, Scott Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. So welcome back folks to the another new video on Kotlin tutorials and in this particular video we will get started with the discussion on classes and objects. Well, you might have heard about various definitions of classes and objects but I feel I stick to a very simpler version which is classes are blueprints for the objects. Well the reason why I use this particular definition is let's have a look at this particular diagram. What is it? It's a blueprint of a house. Well if you have this particular blueprint you can build one house using that particular blueprint which acts as a specification for the house or you can build any number of houses which adhere to that blueprint. In the same way classes are also blueprint of the objects because let's assume that we define a class called person and the specification says that it needs to have first name, last name and the date of birth. Once you define this you can create one instance of that particular person class or you can define any instances of that particular class. So that is why class is nothing but a blueprint of an object and the multiple instances that you created are basically called as objects. So objects are nothing but the instances of the class. So having understood layman terms of what classes are, I am sure you are wondering about how to create a class and how to create objects using that particular class in Kotlin. So the best way to understand this is to actually get into a demo. So let's go to IntelliJ IDE. So let me create a class here. You can select Kotlin file or class and then kind is a class and then declare person. That's it. You are basically done with creating a class. As of now, it's a empty class. It doesn't have anything inside that. And in Kotlin, you can even completely avoid putting the braces. And this is still perfectly legal class. I will split the screen so that I can show you this in a better way. And now I can create a person object. And as you can see here, we are not getting any problem. It is just a class declaration. It doesn't even have any braces. If I try to print the person object, it just prints in the same fashion that you typically see a person object that is getting printed in a Java programming language because at the end of the day it is one and the same. Well, this class is of not much use. So we need to add few more things. Well, one way is you can just create a flower brackets and then create few instance variables inside the class. Well, you can use both var and val. I will simply use a var here and then create a first name which is of type string and let me assign a value here and then print first name and if I run this what you will basically see here is the first name getting printed. So you can see that I am accessing the instance variables of the person object with a dot operator. So it is person dot first name which will give me the access to whatever the value the instance variable will be holding. But this is of not much use because the first name is hard coded here. That is not typically the way we work. You want to initialize the first name when you create this particular person instance. So I can just declare a parameter here name of type string and then write name here and when you declare name here you can pass the arguments and in this case it is ajay and when I run this you will see that now this ajay value is basically initializing the first name. There is a another way you can do it instead of writing it like this you can write a init block. Init block gets executed whenever you try to create an instance of the class. So whenever you are invoking the constructor the init blocks get executed. We will be talking about it in a much more detailed manner but as of now what we can do is we can initialize the first name with name that we are using here and if I run this this is also a perfectly valid way of initializing the object. Well this is a init block. Instead of that we can also use a constructor. Well how do we do that? You can write the keyword constructor and pass the value that you want to pass to a constructor and then 
whatever the earlier code that you had written to initialize the first name you can write same here in the constructor and you can basically remove this this is not needed and this will also work perfectly fine well what we have written here is called as a secondary constructor or a parameterized constructor because this constructor has got a parameter you can also have a non parameterized constructor but we will talk about how to use that and what it means to have a both parameterized and non parameterized constructor in a class a bit later in the future videos but i just want to demonstrate that there are basically various ways that you can initialize a object in kotlin as you can see here these are quite a number of lines to initialize a object kotlin makes it even more simple to completely avoid this what you can instead do is you can just write val or var and then first name and string that's it you don't have to do anything else and this is a perfectly legal class definition this is much more succinct so if you are getting confused don't worry we are just getting started it is just a matter of getting used to these things so stay tuned for the next video where we will be talking about classes and objects in a much more detailed manner that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye